is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are back yet again with more wwe action figure news for you guys i mean i i get on here and i act like i'm shocked but i tell you guys every single day i get on here i would love to know how many videos we've done on news just this past week i swear to god it's like every single day we get brand new figure videos new leaks new images new news coming out about the wwe elite figures and basic figures and all kinds of stuff that we're going to be getting very soon coming into comic-con i'm sure that at San Diego Comic Con, we are going to get renders of these figures that we're talking about here today, the figures that we've talked about here this week, and I just can't wait to get into them, but I do want to give a huge shout out to my man, That Elite Customs, on Instagram for sending me this news. Now, I don't know exactly what it is. Now, this could be, you know, take this with a grain of salt. You never know. Things are, you know, things can change. Things can be rendered and, and changed on the fly at, at the drop of a dime. You know, we talk about it all the time. You could turn on a dime and we could change a series at the drop of a hat. So definitely uh, stay tuned for any any news changes and stuff, but I'm sure we're going to see these figures at Comic-Con. As we approach closer, it's like we're getting leaks and leaks, and I do believe that reveal season is coming to us very, very soon. I believe it's going to be the middle of next month is when all these things are going to come to fruition, and we're going to get all images of everything, but pulling it up, guys, you guys can see here, it says San Diego Comic-Con International Leaks Part 1. It says Survivor Series Elite Series 2, but I do believe this would be Survivor Series Elite Series 3, right? Because the first wave was the Bobby Roode, the AJ Styles, and the Alexa Bliss, and then in Series 2, we ended up getting what? Jeff Hardy, Shinsuke Nakamura. I forget who the rest of the series was. What was it? Alicia Fox. And then it was Don Morocco, right? So Don Morocco, Alicia Fox, Jeff Hardy, and Survivor, Survivor Series. And Shinsuke Nakamura were Survivor Series Elite Series number 2. So this, in fact, would be Survivor Series Elite Series number 3. And if that continues the trend, that these figures will be Walmart exclusive. Now, if I, I don't know about you guys, but I know that every single time that there was a Survivor Series Elite, you know, Walmart exclusive wave. My Walmart never got that ish. Anytime I found those figures, it was out of town, or they just never hit. Like the Jeff Hardy wave, the series number two, the Jeff Hardy, Shinsuke, Alicia Fox, and Morocco, that stuff never hit my area. That stuff never hit my area. I've been to multiple areas, and the figures never hit. Now, I know that Mattel's distribution is pretty wacky sometimes, for the most part. Like, I, I don't know. It's like everywhere gets it, or nowhere gets it, is pretty much how it goes for certain things. And so, right here, we're back at it with Series 3 of Survivor Series Elite. Walmart exclusive is what I would guess. But on your screen, you can see it says Drew McIntyre, Kane, John Morrison, and Samoa Joe. Now, we are going to be going through all of these figures and showing you what I think we're going to be getting with these figures. And you guys can let me know down in the comment section below which ones you would rather see and what you hope it is and what you hope it's not. Because as I can get into it here, Drew McIntyre, it would have to be Survivor Series 2019, I do believe. It could be 2018, but I'm pretty sure it's 2019 where they took on Team NXT, Team SmackDown, and Team Raw with a triple threat 5v5v5. That is what I would guess for that matchup. I'm pulling it up on your screen so you guys can see all the, the looks of the attire. I can't remember what the back of the attire for Drew McIntyre looked like, but I can tell you that the front had like some white iron crosses. You guys know the Drew McIntyre attire. It's the black trunks, crosses on either side, and then McIntyre on the butt cheeks with the lion logo. <clears throat> Almost vomited. With the McIntyre logo, with the lion on the back is usually how it goes. And I'm excited to get this. We actually discussed this in our video from the other day, how expensive Drew McIntyre Elites are. So getting this third one in here should actually make it a little bit cheaper or at least make the main Elite line one go down a little bit in price. I know he's the WWE Champion, so it'll be highly sought after. And I don't know. I'm sure Ringside Collectibles will have this up for pre-order when it gets put up. But if you guys are worried about it being a U.S. exclusive or a tough exclusive to get, just stay tuned to Ringside Collectibles. I know their shipping can be crazy sometimes with international, but just use the promo code MDTOYS. I know it sucks sometimes, but you guys are getting some U.K. exclusive stuff. Not near the U.S. exclusive stuff that we get, but, you know, you I mean, uh, what do you do? You can't do anything but build a bridge and get over it at this point unless you go to eBay or, you know, you get in the U.K. and pay eBay price or something. I don't know. But Drew McIntyre looks okay. You know, his attires aren't the best anyway, so it's kind of difficult to get in there, get a really cool attire unless he changes his trunks color to you know blue or red or something like that which would, I think would be really badass if he did I think red would be really cool do like a bright red with some gold iron crosses with black outline or something like that would be really sick for Drew but until that day comes his, his figures are going to be pretty plain Jane I'm sure we'll get a you know we'll probably get a new head sculpt for this and it'll look pretty badassery so that'll be pretty cool I'm sure he'll come with a raw t-shirt or unless he, or it may come with a raw t-shirt and a raw arm armband to go on the figure because I think in 2019 they did rock raw armband. So there you go. Next up we have Kane. Now this is very imperative, okay? This one right here is the most important one in the series, I would say. And this one 
has to be 2001 Kane. It has to be 2001 Survivor Series Kane. I would take a 2000 Survivor Series Kane, or I would take the, what is it, 2000. Four? I think it's 2004 Survivor Series Kane where he took on Shane McMahon in the ambulance match. That may have been 2003, but you also have his match with Undertaker that took place at Survivor Series, which I would also take. So there's a few options that we could get, but I really, really want to see 2001 Kane with the red. It's kind of like hardcore Kane, but it's more of a bright red color. And images are coming up on your guys' screen. But there, I mean, there's a few attires I would take. Obviously, obviously there's there's a lot of good Kane attires. But what I do not want to see from this is I do not want to see a modern-style Kane. I don't want to see anything from after 2010. I don't want to see anything from 2015. I don't want any of those Kanes. We need a throwback Kane right here. Very imperative. Survivor Series 2000, Survivor Series 2001, Survivor Series 2003 or 4. That is beautiful, but we cannot get anything later. I really want to see a throwback Kane here. It's very imperative. Be Beast Nation, Beast Nation 2020 has made a ton of figures on his Instagram from this time period, and uh, they always look so badass. So maybe we could get a new masked Kane head sculpt like the R3 Tech Jax head sculpt that we've seen in the past, which is the best Kane head sculpt of all time. Maybe they can get closer to that and that they can uh, redo that because we've had the same masked Kane head sculpt from that time period for so long. It's been years upon years. So hopefully we get a new, he a new Kane head sculpt, and it is from the early 2000s. For Kane, so please, I God, I hope that's true, and I hope this series is is true enough. Anyways, you know this isn't just some random series. Hopefully, this is a true series, and all these figures come true. But Kane is a, one of the most important in the set, which leads me into the next probably most important. It is John Morrison. Now, this could be a, a few things. You know, we have gotten basics from Survivor Series of John Morrison way back when Mattel pretty much first started. You guys remember the best of pay-per-view like basic figures that had like Royal Rumble and Survivor Series on the packaging, and it would tell you about the moment and their tire and stuff. I kind of miss basic figures like that. I thought that was really, really good for the line starting off. Not a good head sculpt on that figure, but I still think it was a really cool idea. It's in the black and white. Really cool attire. I could definitely see them releasing this as an elite. Give us an updated throwback John Morrison head sculpt with true effects. Maybe possibly come with his entrance coat and uh, give us the black and white attire. I think that would be absolutely beautiful. You guys already know we had it leaked the other day that we are getting a main elite line John Morrison coming soon, so that will be really sick to see getting those two John Morrisons, and I'm sure that won't be the end of it. I'm sure they'll plug in more John Morrisons because he did return to the company. They're going to try to get all of his figures out while he's still under contract. Sound like I was about to cry at the end of that little segment right there, but John Morrison is really good. I think we could get some great figures here. I'd, I'd imagine it's probably going to be Survivor Series 2010 or 11. Um, it could be before that, which would be really cool as well. I'll pull up images on the screen of some attires that we should be getting, or maybe it will be that Survivor Series basic that we talked about. But moving into the last figure in the set, it is Samoa Joe. Now this one's pretty obvious, I think. It's going to be Survivor Series 2018, where he was a part of Team SmackDown. It will come with a sleeveless SmackDown Live t-shirt, and it will be his blue and black trunks, which are the only trunks we do not have of Samoa Joe. You guys know that we've had like two or three red figures. We've had the yellow Destroyer GameStop slash Ringside exclusive one, and then we had the Elite 56 in the green, and the only one we're missing is his blue trunks, which would be this figure right here. So they're going to use this Survivor Series Samoa Joe to get his blue attire in here, and we will have our full Power Rangers assortment of Samoa Joes besides like that light pinkish or light red matte red trunks that he has that's very similar to the red but it's like a light pinkish I'm sure we'll get that somewhere down the line but there it is with Samoa Joe and his last few head sculpts have been great besides the crimson chin portion of it but they, I can't remember what his haircut looked like so it'll probably be either a new head sculpt or it will be the Elite 64 head sculpt put on to that Survivor Series figure but I think this series is pretty freaking banger set I think this is a great little set Drew McIntyre, Kane, John Morrison, Samoa Joe, all four guys that I would love to add to the collection. I'm always looking to get more John Morrisons because their figures are so good and their figures are rare. You know, John Morrison figures are rare, so getting any of those, putting them in the collection will be very nice. You know, getting them for fix-ups and customization and stuff. He is in the pick fed. He had a banger match. He has one of the best matches in MDT history. So, uh, John Morrison, he, he's been out of commission for a while after taking that package pile driver on the car. But, you know, he could return anytime, and he needs to have a fire attire to return in. So, there you go. I really want to do, like, a pink and black or a pink, black, and white or a black and pink Morrison. So, this could be a step in that direction if it's easy to paint over and we could add some pink and pink gauntlets and stuff from maybe the Tyler Breeze figure. I don't know. I got a lot of ideas in my skull that I would love to try to bring to fruition when using all these figures. But Kane is, again, the most important in the set to me, to be honest with you. I am happy to get another Samoa Joe and get in that blue attire because it just feels good to put that up on the shelf and complete the set there with the yellow, green, blue, and red. 
and then Drew McIntyre. I'm always happy for a new Drew McIntyre, and especially people who do not have a Drew McIntyre. He's the WWE Champion, and getting him in here and uh, putting him on our displays, especially if you missed out on the Elite 71 or the NXT exclusive, uh, the Target exclusive NXT figure, then this is a really big deal. You can track down a Drew McIntyre. And again, if you guys are worried about picking this figure up at Walmart, if you don't have a Walmart in your area, it should be up for pre-order on Ringside Collectibles. And usually, like right now, I think every other Survivor Series Elite that's ever released has been super cheap at this point. Like, I thought the Jeff Hardy would be hot, highly sought after, but it is not. It's actually kind of a cheap figure. You can go get it anywhere right now. So that's a figure that you may want to track down right now. It's one of my favorite figures of the year last year. So that's a figure. So I, I don't think there's any figures in this set that are super, super rare. So if you guys have an opportunity, maybe Drew McIntyre will not raise in price like the rest of his figures have. But I guess only time will tell. But that is all the news I have for you guys for today. Survivor Series Elite Series number three, Walmart exclusive, most likely. Drew McIntyre, Kane, John Morrison, Samoa Joe. Thank you guys so very much. Shout out to that Elite Customs again. Link in the description to give him a follow on IG for the news. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.